Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of the Norse Rebirth Campaign. So, we're doing really well. We've converted a lot of territory. Most of the religion is um, showing as Norse now in our territory, which is fantastic. If we actually look in the ledger, we can see that the Norse faith is coming back. Where is it? Religion, there we go. Page 4. So, authority, Norse, 100. <laughs> we are the most authoritative religion. It's just Norse, darn it. And uh, our size is 38. 38 holdings. Or 38, I think it's, is it counts? I don't, I don't know. 38 rulers consider themselves to be Norse. So, we're doing pretty well. Send some ships into the Baltic Sea to pick up these guys. And we're almost combined. Here to the county, which puts us over our domain limit. Wolgast. So I think we just give that to another guy. Let's go stewardship this time. This guy's a bit ambitious. Not a big deal, though. Right now, our vassals are fairly happy. Some people are upset about raised levies. Um, this guy's a little upset with me for having imprisoned him in the past. But for the most part, people are pretty happy. Just lost the steward. It's like the mayor of Gotland. Become the steward. Okay, let's go and finish this up, and we'll create the Empire. We're down to just two fleets. we got three here with 24 men on them. You guys can just call it a day. You did a good enough job. <laughs> Get out of here. Amassing the army certainly does take a while now. No longer zealous. Hmm. Wow, it's a lot of prisoners. And there we go. There's one down. I'm just going to try to make this as quick as I can so that we can get started on the Empire. You can tell I've played a lot of CK2, <laughs> right? Probably. I'm processing counties. I'm not. I'm not winning wars. I'm just processing conquest. <laughs> it's like, uh, and this isn't even in the right target, is it? We need to go up here. I think we just assault rather than go chase his army. Still the 10 to 1 odds, so it's very effective. Might even be able to assault the next one before he finishes his siege. Word has reached me that an ambitious adventurer is out to get me. Some guy over in England. Yep, I do think that we, uh, that we kill him. Seventy percent chance. There we go. Just lost a hundred gold. Just just for fun. Make the problem go away. John of the Norwegian Liberation Revolt has declared the liberation of Norway. Okay. They seek to restore the kingdom of Norway. Ah. I see. Whatever you say. Before we end this war, since we captured quite a few prisoners recently, let's go see 
if any of them are worth any money. Very few. Alright, well, we'll just end this holy war. These are all part of the Duchy of Corellia, which we have not yet created. Let's create it. And then we'll give it to one of these new guys. Onto the boats. Let's go fight the Norwegian Revolt. Unfortunately, we can't get up here unless we go around, so we'll probably just dock here and then walk up into the, the mountains, the Arctic. So succession is secure. People do like Jarl Ogmund of Oslandet. He's very diplomatic as well. So diplomatic, we might want to kill him. The only annoying thing about elective is that it does put more people outside of your dynasty into the claimant position. Because even if even if the succession goes properly, he will get a strong claim on the electorate. He'll never be strong enough to take it from me. Wow, he actually captured you. I uh, I guess you lose then, right? Okay, well that was that. That was that. Okay, now we're going to create... What? All of our territory is, for the most part, in... De jure Sweden. We have some land in Lithuania. We could create Finland. Let's, let's just create them both. It only costs us a little bit of piety and money. Not a big deal. Let's create Finland first. Let's create the empire. First, let's make sure that the sex, everything is the way that I want it, yes? Yes, it is, okay. We're going to elevate ourselves to the tier of emperor now. And for the empire, we will nominate our son. The, not that one. The other one. The good son. In Finland, we're actually going to give Finland away. Now, we could give it away to family. But to do that, we'd have to conquer more land over here. Because I kind of already gave it all away to randoms. I think we just give it to a random guy. Just make you the king. I don't care. Or maybe we plot to kill you. Yeah, let's just kill this one. And I'll give it to a family member. Should have thought ahead about whether or not I wanted to um, land family. People are voting for us. Yes, good. Let's see. Uh, we have no vassal kings yet. Not until we do this. This will just make it a little bit easier to manage the levy. Risking breaking the feudal contract here. Retracted vassal... Electi elector titles held, so because we own too much. It's okay. If he's our, our lowest opinion character, then I think we're doing okay. Okay, so we just inherited that. We succeeded, and we didn't even get caught. So we just inherited this one county. Let's go ahead and give that to not this son. Because I want him to stay in our court, I th think. Maybe we do. If we give it to him, then when we die, we get another opportunity to spread it out the way that we want. And we've already got him betrothed. Naturally, he'll muck everything up and become a terrible character, but let's go ahead and do it. You are now that. You are now the duke. And congratulations, you're now the king. My boy. He's outraged by the succession law change, even though I've nominated you as the heir. And we do now finally see the vassal king minus 25 penalty that I remember reading about. I never saw it when I played in the, the Hindu campaign, but just being a king, yeah, being a king underneath an emperor has a negative 25 opinion. 
I assume that the same thing applies to you. Vassal king minus 25, yep. So kings just don't like being vassals. That's good, that helps to make empires a little bit less stable. Even so, we're going to create the kingdom of Norway now. Do we have a, king, uh, like a title we can give to keep this in the family as well? Maybe we do that before we create it. So de jure Norway, let's see. Right now it's being incorporated into Sweden. In another 55 years, Norway won't even exist. I don't really want that. I say we try to get, get our hands on something over here. All of Norway is owned by us, so we do have to either execute or plot against a, a vassal. Unfortunately, being content prevents us from doing anything, really. Ah. You have no kids yet. Make a kid. It's a regular marriage. I'll give it away. We'll just give it away now and see. Hopefully this will work out. Hopefully my son will make some babies. We'll make her the queen. And then their kids will be of our dynasty. And Norway will end up in our family. So, okay, that sounds fine. So you have the Duchy of Orkney. Which is under the Kingdom of Norway. We'll create Norway. And then we'll grant it to you. Okay, unfortunately that means <laughs> capital's in the middle of nowhere. It's fine. She obviously is going to love us. This is too bright. Why do you own that woman? Oh well, it's fine. So direct vassal map mode now shows quite a bit. So we can see Finland, Norway. And then we actually, um, we do have Sweden, of course. But since we're the king of Sweden, it's going to show the dukes here. The only issue here is that most of these dukes are probably going to desire the kingdom if they're ambitious and they have a claim to it. But, oh well. My son will make you chancellor, sure. Lowest opinion vassal is actually our brother, who lives in uh, Smaland. And actually, no, he lives here. Let's try to improve relations with our brother. I wish we weren't content. So now from here, I guess we declare a great holy war. Or we just declare some more invasions. Not, not invasions, sorry. Um, conquests. Hmm. Maybe we just... Do we get crazy and just declare a, um... A great holy war for Croatia? <laughs> well, we already beat the Holy Roman Emperor in one war. By using some tactics. We have, at most, not enough men right now, though. I think we wait. We could raise law in Scandinavia, but I am perfectly happy at medium. Our faith continues to spread. We check the ledger. I think we're probably one of the strongest independent states. We're fourth right now. Potential is 36,000. So if we had full, fully revol um, improved city... I can't talk today. If we had like a fully restored levy and everyone wanted to provide us with troops, so we could have 36,000. Well, that's actually, we're fourth by realm size. Army size, we are third. Would be even better if we were actually able to continue using our retinue cap the way that we had it before. Now, our retinue cap is quite high, so we should be rebuilding these. 
That's quite a few more men. So we declared a couple wars. We'll raise up all the things. And look at that. This is what I love about it. So now, from du jour Norway, instead of having to deal with all of these little armies, we just get one. 84 stack. Bam. And we don't have to go over here. There is still this one. Because it's not part of Norway. But it's just very convenient. And from Finland, we got this army. Unfortunately, it's raising the boats in the army on the wrong side, so... She does own land over here. We can raise the army here. It's not a very big army. Let's get the fleet levy, vassal fleet levy. Um, on the boats, on the boats. When it really, really comes down to army management, I find that the best... the abs absolute, like, best capital is actually something like Venice or Gotland, because then you can have no du jour vassals, and then you just have big kings. You just get, like, four or five really big armies, and that's it. Nothing else. Okay, cool. I think this is a good spot to take a break. I think in the next video we'll we'll win these two wars real quick and then probably go on a major, major raid of the Holy Roman Emperor or something just to piss them off and uh, try to weaken them a bit before we actually declare our great holy war. So thanks for watching, everyone. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. See you soon.